chosen vessel. Peace. They don't want you working there because you know how to become rich off of job money. God blessed you with the spirit of being able to do a whole lot with a little bit. God gave you the spirit to do a whole lot with a little bit. You know how to use your brain. You're smarter than them. The people at those jobs, your manager, got like a third grade level education. Even if they're a college graduate compared to you, the chosen one. Like your mind is like the internet, okay? The chosen one's mind is like the internet. You get downloads from God, okay? Chosen vessels, chosen ones, we have a high level of intelligence. We're smarter than most of the people that we come around. Even if they got credentials, unless it's a fellow chosen one, then we're trading ideas back and forth. But your managers, co-workers, uh, sometimes people in your family may hate you and be angry at you because you know how to become rich off of job money, okay? You know how to become successful off of job money, all right? Chosen one could get paid $500 a week. You know how to pay your rent. You know how to go grocery shopping, buy some clothes, look nice, go out to eat, have a treat, get some sneaks on your feet. Chosen ones know how to do a lot with a little bit. And they're like, how in the heck is he? Number one, God blesses us whenever he sees fit, whenever he wants to. And number two, we have a high level intelligence. We are smart, okay? Chosen ones are crafty, okay? We are skilled. We know how to do a lot with a little bit. We could take a small check and stretch it. We, whatever we get, we know how to make it last long, okay? They're upset that they don't know how to create the way you do. We have a creative spirit. We have an ingenuitive spirit, okay? We know how to take something that looks like nothing and turn it into something. You ever been at work and these people are trying to lift it all weird or move it all stupid and they don't have the brains to be like, okay, you could move it this way. You could move it that way. It doesn't have to be that hard, but they're only at a Burlington Coat Factory or they're only at a Ross and they're only at a Dollar General and they only got a third grade level education, you know, and I'm not downing people for having those jobs because that's a good, any job is a good job. Any way for you to make money is a good way for you to make money. That's how chosen ones see it. Chosen ones, chosen vessels, we have a mind like no other, all right? We see where there's no capability, where there's no possibility, we see the possibility. We have the mind of God, okay? We create opportunities when there's no opportunity. We make the, we can make something out of nothing. We take the, we can make the most out of the least, all right? They want to give us, that's why they give us the least bit anyway. They're like, oh, can't give him too much can't give her too much. They know what we'll do with it. If they give us any more than we're supposed to get, we're taking off. We we are already taking off with the little bit that we have. We know how to make the best out of what we have. We know how to take any situation and turn it into a blessing. All right. We know how to look for the light. We know how to exchange that old rugged cross for a crown. Okay, one day Jesus exchanged his old rugged cross for a crown. That's you, chosen one. One day you're going to exchange that old rugged job for your business. One day you're going to exchange that old rugged job for your financial freedom. Because as a chosen one, God's not going to leave you on that job for long. He's going to give you some ideas. He's going to give you some blessings. All you have to do is act on it, maintain it not waste it, not share it with people who it's not meant for. It's meant for you. When God blesses you, it's meant for you. And they know that God blesses you. That's why they act like that towards you the way they do, because they know that God's not going to bless them the way he blesses you. God puts in your mind ideas to make things last. You think you won't have anything? God's always working it out for you. God's always making sure you have what you need. And say, say you get a little bit, God will make it, God will give you the mindset to make it last. Whatever it is, however much it is, you'll have ideas come from out of nowhere. You're like, oh, I could do this with that. And then I'll still have this and still have that and be able to make that work and make that last. That's you. They see that. They see that you're always, they, they, when your managers and your coworkers give you your hours, 
they know that they don't give you enough hours for you to sustain your life. They know that they're not giving you, chosen one, enough hours to take care of yourself. They know that. And because they know that you could do a lot with a little bit. They hate you when you come to work with new clothes. They hate you when you come to work with new shoes. They hate you when you come to work and you don't you don't look upset and downtrodden and your spirit's broken with all the negativity that they send your way. They hate you because you're not upset or worried about your financial situation, your living situation, because they tried to crush your your spirit and bring you down and tried to lower your finances. They tried to attack your finances. They didn't give you enough hours for you to make it through the week. And they know that. They know they didn't give you enough hours for you to do your thing. But because you're a chosen one and because you're a genius, it doesn't matter. People, somebody will come out of nowhere and help you. Why? Because you have a good spirit. All right. Uh, God will come out of nowhere and bless you. You'll find money on the ground. Let them not give you enough hours. You will find $100 on the ground, $500 on the ground, in an envelope, in a plastic bag. You'll hit the lottery. Somebody will just walk up to you and be like, hey, God told me to give this to you. I'm telling you how this works. God works in mysterious ways. And they understand, we understand those mysterious ways. Those people don't understand God. Those people don't understand the way the Lord works. And we do. That's why we move the way we move. That's why when they want to, they want to upset us without giving us enough, we don't let it, we don't let it bother us. It doesn't worry us because we know that's a trick from Satan. We know that's a trick from the devil. We know that our managers are corrupt. We know that the co-workers are corrupt. We know that those jobs are evil and corrupt. And we know that they're trying to bring you down. You know that they're trying to stop you, okay? And we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let any of that take place. We're not going to let anything disturb us. We're not going to let anything interrupt our peace of mind. Because God gave it to us and they can't take it away. They know that we can keep our peace because we have God. And no matter how little they give us, they know that we're going to turn it into something. They know that we're going to find a blessing some way, somehow. They know that we're going to come out on top no matter how low they wanted to have us. No matter how low they placed us, they know that God's going to put us on high. And that's why it's, it's that's why it's good for you to continue to pray and praise God during these times. You have to stay prayed up if you want to have a life like this where people are constantly scratching their head, wondering how you're able to do more with less. It's because God blessed you and he's constantly giving you new ideas, new mindsets. God's constantly giving you downloads on how to improve your life and how to overcome the devil. OK. And these people know that and they know that you're always going to come out on top. So do me a favor. Keep coming out on top and keep putting these people to shame. Don't let them get to you because they know that you could do a whole lot with a little bit. And you keep doing a whole lot with a little bit. You keep making you keep blowing their mind, making them scratch their head. You keep confounding these people because they wanted to see you lose. They gave you just enough for you to pay your rent. But now you don't have anything to eat. They gave you just enough to pay your rent, but now you're walking around and and they want you to worry about, man, how am I going to buy some clothes? I need some new shoes. My shoes are falling apart. These people see that my shoes are falling apart. They only gave me just enough to pay my rent. They only gave me, they sometimes they won't even give you just enough for that. But the thing is, we still end up finding a way to take care of ourselves. We still end up finding a way to make sure that we're all right because we put our faith in God. We don't put our faith in job. These people put their faith in things that aren't in God. And then when we come around, everything seems to work out for us because why we have our faith in God. We don't put our faith in the American system. We don't put our faith in the government. We put our faith in the Lord. We put our faith in Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day. Keep your faith right. Keep your mind right. And keep doing a lot with a little bit. Keep confounding these people and keep making them lose their mind. Because God is for us and no, they can't be against us. Have a blessed day. Stay uh, prayed up out here and God bless you.